I found one of these on the street. Basically, lots of lots of little LEDs. Together, they make a big light. What I'm holding is only part of it because I needed to saw it in half because I wanted a flat bit of plastic for another purpose. And I did want it to be reasonably flat, so I wanted to remove all the LEDs very quickly. Now initially I tried a soldering iron, then I tried some pliers, and yeah, it's going to take me ages to get them all off. What I did was I put the whole sheet on a baking tray in an oven on maximum for maybe 15-20 minutes. Anyway, it got very, very hot, so you could very easily just move the LEDs off and tip them into a bowl. And so that's what I've got. A whole lot of surface mount LEDs. As you can see from some of them where the underside is facing up, there are contacts that you can solder to even with a regular soldering iron. Now do these work? Or did 15 minutes at 200 degrees C or more kill them? Let's find out. The smells from this can be pretty noxious, so make sure you do this where there's ventilation. And, oh, it might take a couple of goes in the oven to remove all the LEDs. Because the thing is so hot, you can easily remove them for, say, the first half, but it cools down pretty quickly. So, yeah, you might need to put them in the oven for a second go and remove all the rest. I've just made this LED test jig. It's some Vero board, just using two adjacent tracks. There's a 680 ohm resistor. And then I'll use these clip leads to connect to a nine volt battery. So I can just put the bottom of the LEDs along these tracks and I'll quickly be able to test them. Got an LED here. You can use screwdriver or tweezers. We just have to tip it so that the contacts are down. Might be easier just to pick it up. Okay. Now, of course, these are polarized components. So, we'll have to try and get it the right polarity. And we have a working LED. So we'll call this the good pile. I've just got a whole lot of other ones. The thing I was most concerned about was whether the heat from the oven was going to damage them. So we'll just grab a sample and see how they test. Well, it was a bit of a battle, but I eventually got this one working. Maybe some of the connections have peeled off a little bit. There's its underside. I don't know if you can see, uh, but that's actually a blue LED. So there are different colours in, in this collection. So that one's red. Let's see if we can get this one to light as well. That one's also red. And we're lighting three LEDs. All these are red. So 
another one there. Another one there. So to summarise, nearly all the LEDs I got out worked. That means that surface mount LEDs can withstand a lot of heat, a lot of abuse, and are easily salvageable. Roger, roger. You are 59 and running 5 watts. 5 watts QRP. Over. Watts and uh, 73 for the call. Thank you. LQRP, possible QRP. Alright, it was great to work. QRP, QRP, impossible 5 watts. I am QRP, 5 watts, 73.